If you've been watching my videos, you know that I'm always talking about templates and how it can speed up your workflow. But I've got a question asking if I can update a video that I've done about six years ago and how to create templates. I, I watched back the video and it's quite advanced. It's just, it's a template that I still use today. So in this video, I'll show you how to create your own template, but a basic template, nice and simple, nice and easy. What's going on YouTube fans? KC, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. So before we dive into creating these logic templates so you can speed up your workflow, let's quickly shout out my two new subscribers because I appreciate everyone that hits that subscribe button. Shout out Champ City Mike and Cobra Kane Official. Appreciate your support. Appreciate you hitting that sub button. It means a lot. So best comments for this week's coming from Kid Jabbar. Hope I pronounced that right, bro. But yeah, appreciate the, the feedback. Appreciate your comment. Just sharing knowledge, help others with their mindset. Cause I know what it's like to be on comparing yourself to other people and all that type of stuff. So if I can help with stuff that I've been through and share that and hopefully help someone else, then job's done. For anyone who hasn't seen that video, check that out. Hit that little link there. And yeah, if you're going through tough times and want to, want to know how you can level up, then go check out that video. All right, we've done all that. Let's get into this video. So it's going to open up Logic, click the Logic icon, choose create a new empty project. We're going to hit software instrument. So this is going to be for beat making. So this is just going to be a beat making template. So we want some instruments. By default, Analog Lab 4 comes up for me. We're just going to choose that for now. So that's just going to be one of my instruments. So depending on how many instruments you need or like to use within your beat making, that's the amount of instruments that you instantiate in your beats. But with this template, I'm going to leave a link for you to download it if you want to use this template as well. You might not have some of the plugins that I'm using, but that doesn't matter. You can easily find them on their websites. First instrument, I'm going to say piano because we, I like to use a lot of pianos in my beats. I don't know about you. Drop a comment below, let me know what your go-to instrument is when you make your beats. Is it pianos, is it soft synths, mallets? Whatever it is, let me know. So just going to double click again to create another instrument. Let's say we create three instruments. Piano, synth, 808 and say, let's say lead instrument. So that's four sounds. So we've got our synths. I'm gonna choose chromophone for my next synth. Lovely sounds in that one. UVI workstation, no, I don't need that one. Let's just go with uh, some logic sounds as well, which I like to use. I like to use Alchemy a lot. They've got some really nice bell sounds in that. All right, so for our lead, we're gonna use um, let's say the ES2 synth. It's got some nice sounds in there as well. So for the 808, we're going to use the ES2. I've got a video showing you how to create your own 808s using ES2. So check that out as well if you don't know how to. Uh, so for the lead, we've got Alchemy being our last uh, other sound. So you've got lead, ES2 has been used twice, that doesn't matter. You can just change these if you want to. You turn them off. For my drums, I like to use Ultra Beat. You don't have to use Ultra Beat. You can use a Q sampler. You can use the drum machine. So whatever you're comfortable with using, just use that. I've been using Ultra Beat for years, so I'm, I'm comfortable using that. So I'm just going to set up Ultra Beat. You can just double click in the gray space. Whatever you're using last. Name those. We're using instruments. So if you double click in the space, it's going to bring up another instance of an instrument. Ultra beat we're going to use. So we click on Ultra beat. Multi output means you can route your sounds to the mixer. If you want to use the faders to mix your drums, which you should be doing, then choose multi output. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to keep this one simple. I'm not going to do the whole advanced routing. I'm just going to keep this simple. But what I will do is I'm going to route all of these sounds to one pre-fader bus. So this pre-fader bus is going to be before the main output. So if you want, if you want to put any processing or anything before your main output, you can. It's an option. So we've got Ultra Beat. We're going to turn that off. I like to have these color coordinated as well, just so I know what's what. Uh, my drums are usually usually red. Pianos, I like to keep green. Simps, around a purpley type of color. 808s, that's a similar red. And then we'll have the lead. We give that blue and bells. Let's say 
like a purpley type color that's and simple if you want to and you've got some samples like maybe you've got my drum pack i know i need to up update and do a fresh drum pack i've been slacking but say you've got some drum samples and you want to use for example some effects just keep it just keep it simple so you got your little swoosh mute that you might not use these but at least you've got them there just in case you do want to use them um it's the same with any other sounds for example if you want to use an 808 from a drum pad you can just drop that in optimized on a quick sampler so even now you've got two 808s we're gonna make that red so you know what's what when you look at the mixer and now you should be good to go but like i said we need to root all of these sounds to, to a pre-fader so we're going to call this we're going to put this pre-fader because we're also going to set up a couple of alt sends uh, two reverbs two delays and your pre-fader so two two reverbs two delays and pre-fader so five alts quick and easy way to do this how we're going to do this today is send bus one will be our first reverb so we call that reverb one bus two so we're highlighting all the instruments that we're using go to bus two and that would be reverb two so we've got two reverbs now we want two delays bus three will be delay one that can be we're going to put some reverbs and delays on there don't worry highlight them all again and we don't have to highlight them and then we've got bus five which will be wait oh my god i'm going to get ahead of myself delay two so what can this be maybe some effects i'll leave that one open for you to do what you need to do yeah so you can put whatever effects on there that you you, you want to use reverbs and delay are kind of the standard spatial effects that you can use to create depth and interest in your beats so now you can leave that there and keep it nice and simple and then everything will be rooted out into your main output or you can go one better and create an, a bus for all your effects to go to be rooted to that one bus so that you can process that on one bus if you want to usually i like to have my, an all drums and bass bus an all music bus so let's just do that because i feel like it, it will it will be beneficial so this bus now will be i'm just gonna put effects any effects on that so this bus will be your drums and your bass bus so we're just gonna go six call it dmb now you've got all your music bus which is bus seven music and then you've got all your effects we're gonna put that on bus eight effects change the color of those so that you know the difference and what's what then all these ones your new rooted buses i hope i'm not making it too advanced and too technical for you if i am just hit me up on Insta and I'll explain it to you or just drop a comment below. Those three buses, we're gonna to route to a pre-fader bus. So if you need to do any processing before your main output, then this is where you do it. Like I, I explained earlier. And this one will be called your pre-fader. So it's before your main output. And that's going to stereo up put the effects in with the effects bus okay so for the reverbs we're just going to use silver verb and chroma verb i like chroma verb it's nice lovely kit and then for the delays we're just going to keep it simple echo boy you might have echo boy you might not don't worry about that you can just swap it out for whatever ones you've got and then stereo delay, nice, I love stereo delay. I use that all the time. I use it all the time over third party plugins that I've got. And then, yeah, that 
bus five is open for you to put any effects on there that you want to your choice and now with these buses if you feel that you want to process your the drums and the bass bus together like you want to put a little bit of compression on there a little bit of eq you can so i'm just going to throw an eq on there for you eq before compression it doesn't matter um it depends on what you're trying to do with eq before compression or compression after eq if you eq before the compression whatever you've taken out whatever you subtracted or boosted then the compression is gonna be affected by that then decisions same for your music bus and the same for your effects bus and for your pre fader you can have a limiter on there if you want to you can have a bit of EQ if you want to you can have a bit of distortion if you want to and maybe some slight compression but you don't have to We'll chuck a limit on here just so that you can hear how your sound, how your beat's gonna sound when you start to push it through the limiter. So when you start to pull down the threshold and it starts to get loud and starts to bang. Yeah. Let's save this. Yeah, so we we'll go down to save this template. We save this template as beat making. 2021 I'll put my initials in there okay see and then we hit save and now that's saved to your project templates I'm gonna do another video showing you whereabouts your project templates folder is because I think this video is running into a bit too long I didn't want it to be that long so now you've got your project templates ready to go when you open up this session in logic you just hit open up session from template. I think that's what it says. And then find the template and you're good to go because you've got some sounds already loaded up. Saves all that time messing around trying to think what sound should I use when you can just get your idea down quickly and then go from there. So that's how you create your beat making template in Logic Pro X. Hope it wasn't too advanced. I tried to keep it quite basic if you've got any questions at all anything you're unsure of just drop a comment below or just hit me up on insta and i'll i'll do my best to explain it to you if you like this video at all hit that like button so that youtube algorithm can see that the video is okay for others to view and it will push my views up and it will help me if you're not already subscribed to my channel hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time